I have the immense pleasure to introduce you today to a very, very special award. This is the very first year of the Gene Little First Novel Award. This award honors the late Gene Little and celebrates a talent of newcomer authors who've written their first novel for middle grade readers. Here is a video that explains the importance of Jean Little's legacy and this new award in her name. Introducing the Jean Little First Novel Award. Jean Little is undoubtedly one of Canada's most well-known and beloved authors for young readers. Raised in Guelph, Ontario, she developed a passion for writing at a young age and went on to achieve great things despite many challenges, including low vision. Over the course of her long career, she wrote over 50 books, received numerous awards and honours, and touched the lives of children across the country. When she passed away in March 2020, fellow children's authors Maggie DeVries, Kit Pearson and Sarah Ellis championed the creation of an award in Jean's name through the Canadian Children's Book Centre. Both Canadian and international fans of Jean Little responded to the call and donated funds to make this award possible. When she started off writing, she had very few mentors in Canada. Her path was one that she had to bushwhack herself, and she did. By the end of her long and prolific career, that was a well-worn path and one that I myself walked. So in gratitude and admiration, I conceived the notion for a book award to honor Jean Little. I'm so glad that that's what we chose because Aunt Jean won an award for her first novel, Mine for Keeps, 60 years ago, not long after I was born actually, and that award really launched her career. So I see this award as an invitation to new writers uh, as something that tells them that we want to hear their voices. And I think that's an important message and I think it's one that Aunt Jean would have wholeheartedly approved of. So I'm, I'm happy to be involved in this. The nominees for the Jean Little First Novel Award are Journal of a Traveling Girl, written by Nadine Nima and illustrated by Archie Beaverhoe, published by Wandering Fox Books. My Name is Kony Sola, written by Elisa Siegel, published by Second Story Press. No Vacancy, written by Zipporah Cohen, published by Groundwood Books. Thank you very much to these new authors for sharing their stories. And if you missed it this past Wednesday, the panel discussion with these three shortlisted authors, moderated by Kit Pearson, is still available to view through the TIFA programming. Now, before I announce the winner, I'd like to thank all of the fans of Gene Little who contributed to this award through personal donations. And now it's time for the winner of the Gene Little First Novel Award. We have our trusty bag over here, and the winner is no Vacancy by Zipporah Cohen. Congratulations, Zipporah. This is very, very cool. And in fact, this year, we did something a little bit different with the virtual format. We wish that we had the production capacity to have all the finalists join us with a live video. You know, we kind of wanted to make it like the Oscars with everyone live streaming in. But who knows, maybe next year. You know what, I'm not even going to jinx it. Next year, I'm going to see you all in person. How about that? OK, I'm going to knock on some wood here. But to, in order to make things a little bit more authentic, we decided to record some authentic reactions to the authors hearing that their book just won a prestigious award. So here is a video of Zipporah finding out the good news from Amanda, our events and program coordinator. You are the winner of the Jean Little First Novel Award. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Uh, the cat just said, thank you. <laughs> oh my God. Shoot. <laughs> I am so delighted to be here. I keep pinching myself. I still have trouble thinking of myself even as a published author, let alone someone who has been asked to make a pandemic era acceptance speech video. So first off, 
go read my co-finalists books. Alyssa Siegel's My Name is Kanasola and Nadine Nima's Journal of a Traveling Girl. They are great stories, and I'm so proud that No Vacancy is part of this diverse group of first novels. Which brings me to how lucky children's book creators are to have the Canadian Children's Book Centre in their corner. When I tell people I write for kids, sometimes they ask, why not for adults? As if writing for children isn't as important. I don't know who to attribute it to, but there's this quote I love. A child who reads will be an adult who thinks. Literary awards that focus on children's literature, like the awards tonight, recognize the value of books for children. This is no small thing. Much gratitude to the CCBC for all the hard work you do to keep Canadian children's books in the limelight and to support their creators. Because here's the thing, writing is hard. Writing a novel is one of the hardest things I've done. Knowing there are people cheering me on from the sidelines, people who value what I write and whom I write for, helps me keep going. I keep reminding myself that this is a first novel award, not an only novel award. So thank you to the founders of this Jean Little first novel award, Sarah Ellis, Kit Pearson, and Maggie DeVries, and to the jurists, Deirdre Baker, Maggie DeVries, and Kit Pearson, who had the enviable job of reading piles of books and the not enviable job of having to choose a winner. There is no good book without a good publisher, a good editor, a good book designer, a good marketing team, and more. So thank you to my Groundwood Books gang, Karen Lee, Samara Al-Hilal, Shelley Tanaka, Michael Solomon, Kirsten Brassard, Samantha Diwali, Natasha Barry, Sonia Lilly, Fred Horler, and Nan Froman. You have welcomed me into my first literary home with open arms, and I couldn't be luckier than to work with all of you. I look forward to the day when we can all be in the same room together. And a shout out to Sam Calda for his awesome cover. Having grown up outside of Canada, I didn't grow up reading Jean Little's books. So when the shortlist for this award was announced, I picked up a few of her novels to get a better idea of what this Canadian literary icon was all about. Imagine my surprise and delight when the first book I read, Mama's Going to Buy You a Mockingbird, first published in 1984, included in the acknowledgments a thank you to her editor, Shelley Tanaka, who was my editor for No Vacancy. To paraphrase Jean's original thank you, Miriam and the Jewel Motor Inn would never have made it without you, Shelley. Jean Little was not afraid to tackle hard topics in her books for middle schoolers. Topics like the death of a parent or sibling, the Nazis' rise to power in Germany, drug addiction, and the foster care system. She treated her readers with the respect that they deserve, never writing down to them or telling them what to think. I hope I've captured a little of that magic in No Vacancy. And last, to those of you out there who think you have a book in you, listen to that inner voice. You're not too old, too young, too absorbed in another career, too busy, too anything. Let the people around you your partner, kids, extended family, friends, and colleagues, let them support you the way mine did. Go right. Thank you for that, Sephora. And congratulations on this well-deserved award for your first novel. And a little birdie told me that you're in the middle of writing your second one. We cannot wait. <laughs>